behind you, brother! <laughs> to get there. I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't.
bomb should help us out. It's just, why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfarn, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you heard. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags you around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay.
Kefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moose. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well... The last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful workplace. Embarrassing, really. Oh, well, can't all be winners. <laughs> Get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half gaffers are known to burrow. So I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it.
This is the spot. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. How many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thamor, 
the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. <laughs> and there was Thamor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband, and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. <laughs> Lovely. Sand. Tears had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. <sighs> what else is there? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are leaned worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Idrisilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. Hmm. Should I have anything else for you, you'll be the first to know. Do, do you not understand when the conversation is over? Glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. 
The stew will only improve with time. I'm glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Whoa. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. No. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that <laughs> oh atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Ivy. Already gone.
I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or anything. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Duma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Whatever. Don't run off! Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where I whatever. am? Whatever, 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 whatever. Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Where are you going? <coughs> Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <gasps> Hmm. 
Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish he were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you tell me if you were gonna eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, well, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been. Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look... weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um... Was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angleboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah, where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me... Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Oh, I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. I've heard the Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <clears throat> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Yeah. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. The Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. Or called it. What's this? 
that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. <clears throat> so, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Watch out! Surviving Fimble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Sinji would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. I can't believe there are nightmares here, too. <laughs> It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. Wait, what? It looks like you're going the right way. Oh, yeah, totally. Jump <laughs> up! Yeah! <laughs> 
great. I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. Gelfa! Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions, or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. Loki! Ah! I've got it. Tell me when! Too. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, now you. Whoa. That's Evie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! Ugh. <sighs> 